Hi, I'm Akshura Nagaru. I'm in grade 12, and next year I'll be going to King's College London. I'm Johanna Zieber. I'm also in grade 12, and I'll be going to either University of Galway in Ireland or Griffith University in Australia. I took a lot of time to decide which university, but I finally decided that I'll be going to King's College London um, in central London, and it's going to be for medicine, and it's a five-year program, unless I choose to take a year off, basically, in between, called an intercalated year, where I can do a bit more research in a specific science degree. But other than that, yep, it'll be five years um, downtown London. <laughs> I definitely um, I have a lot of dreams. I don't know which path I'll be taking. I know personally I really enjoy communicating with uh, people, patients, so I want something where I'm more in the scene, so I'm okay with like family medicine, but maybe preferably in like a hospital setting, so maybe cardiology or like some other specialities like that. But if I were to go to Ireland, I would be in Galway City, which is a very cute little place, and it would be a six-year program. Um, I would, the year zero, which is like the first year, would just be a foundation year and then it would just be five years of medical school. And if I went to Australia, I would be in the Gold Coast, which is also very beautiful. And I would take a two years of biomedical sciences. It's actually a three year program, but it's condensed into two years. And then from that, I would go into four year medical school. I'm not quite sure right now what specialty I'll want to do. Um, I was initially, I was initially interested in dermatology, but I would love to explore some other options. I would love to also work in a hospital. I think that really excites me, um, but I have a lot of time and options, so yes. I'm excited. Mine, I believe that they required five grade 12 courses. Um, for Kings, I think we need a 90 plus average. So basically, um, of course, you need to take those um, main sciences, biology and chemistry, I think they also require math and English, yeah. uh, depending on the universities. So definitely those main sciences and explore different other classes. I definitely did decide to take basically all the classes I could just to know what I'm strongest at and to find what I really want to do in the future as well. For example, like I'm going to be using my Spanish grades as well if they, if they count for this uh, university average. So I think I would just recommend um, taking what you think you would enjoy and what you're confident in and what you want to pursue in the future as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I also took all three sciences. Um, I think if you're interested in doing something like this, definitely um, take the, as many classes as you can in high school because it's free here and to keep your options open. Um, I would also encourage volunteering um, and to get that experience and also extracurricular activities because sure. That is really good for getting to schools like that. And also, um, I think those kind of things give you a lot of ex life experience. Yeah, for sure. Because um, when it comes to interview, even when they're looking at your application, they want to know that you've had different experiences, whether it be like through volunteering, mm -hmm. um, if you've had a job, extracurriculars, also knowing your academic standing and just being able to show that in the interview that you're a normal person and you're ready to be there and yeah. be a really good, um, warm comfortable person as a doctor is all that they're really looking for. Mm -hmm. hey, I'm Zitong. I'm a grade 12 student at Winston Churchill High School and I'll be studying medicine next year at King's College London. Hi, I'm Karma Patel. I'm a grade 12 student at Winston Churchill High School and I'll also be studying medicine in the UK next year. I have two offers currently and I'm still waiting on one more for the University of Manchester um, and we'll see where I end up going. I've always wanted to be a doctor and Honestly, my main reason for going to the UK is for one thing, the Canadian system is really competitive and um, I didn't want to have to stress with four more years of uncertainty of you know, going through undergrad and getting perfect grades and also having crazy extracurriculars and also because karma kind of roped me into it and so I was like, okay, you know, I've gone this far, might as well. Yeah, the main advantage of uh, taking the undergraduate medicine route is that you eliminate that uncertainty of whether you're going to be a doctor after completing your undergraduate degree. Uh, there are a lot of people who work really hard for their undergraduate degrees and end up not getting into medical school and then are kind of stuck in this place where they, they're not sure what they want to do next. So while it's like competitive in the UK as well, the, the getting in will ensure that you, you're going to become a doctor and that you're not spending four years on a degree that might not aff affect your career in the future. Um, so I'm kind of torn right now between 
uh, like sweating for the rest of my life, working 100 hours a week as a surgeon or just uh, kind of coasting with a good work-life balance and family medicine. So we'll kind of we'll kind of see where life takes me. And I think if I can get into a surgical residency, which the one the one trade-off with going international is it can be tricky to get the more competitive residencies. Um, so if I do really well and I am able to get in, I think I'll take that path. And if I don't, then I would be happy to practice family medicine in Canada. Yeah, uh, there's a lot of different options open right now for me. I can either, after my degree, stay in the UK and finish a postgraduate, and then I can, like, if I want to do a more competitive specialty, that's probably the better option because I have a greater chance of uh, specializing in that field if I were to stay in the UK and then moving over to Canada or the US afterwards. The one problem with that is that it's, it's a longer process for postgraduate. And so if ideally I would probably want to come back to North America to do uh, postgraduate training and hopefully I get into something that I've like, uh, been interested in. I'm kind of thinking about cardiology or maybe general surgery as an option, but right now I'm just keeping my uh, options open and hoping that my medical school will influence my choices in the future. Um, if, you, if you have an inkling of what you're going to do in like grade 9 or 10, start doing stuff early, start, start volunteering, start getting your resume stacked. Um, even if you're not sure if you want to go into medicine, it's good, even for like can Canadian university applications and for scholarships and just in general to be involved in that sort of thing. So um, yeah, do that because time will fly by and by the time you realize like, hey, I want to go into medicine in the UK or you know, I want to do something, but I need all these volunteer hours for it and I can't get it because I only have a year left, you know, then it's too late. Um, so yeah, pretty much that. And also have a backup plan because you know, life might not always go your way, so. Yeah, just uh, prepare for what you might want to do. If you're unsure, just look at like the different requirements for all the universities, not just like for the UK, but any, any university you're thinking of. Look at the entry requirements. Take all the sciences and, uh, and take as many subjects as you can because then you have a backup plan and in case you don't want to take that route in the future. And yeah, just, uh, I guess, plan ahead and work hard.